Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? Now, I want to talk about this for a brief moment. I can't believe Tamar sat over here and let that colonizer strike again. God damn it. Okay. Strike again. This man. Talking about some, he a good man, Savannah. No, he not, girl. No, he not. He never was good. Okay. I knew he wasn't ish when Evelyn, Evelyn saw it. Okay. She peeped on that little queen's court show peeped the ones like uh-uh he got how many baby mamas he got what and they what uh-uh hell nah this man ain't shit okay if you and a man break up and he go to your home girl go to your friend go to your enemy go to anybody connected to you have any ties with you that's a red flag if y'all break up because why are you just going to somebody you know what i'm saying that i got beef with immediately why are you trying to out like just hurt me for what like what do you gain from that and you know tamar keeps saying oh i was wrong and making all the excuses for this lame man and i've been ignoring it not trying to report on it but she keep playing herself making herself look stupid how you sitting over here calling tommy a crackhead you have all the words for tommy but your man was taking this crackhead out taking his crackhead you know what i'm saying to, to basketball game spending guap on his crackhead then what that make you girl uh-uh hell nah he keep humiliating you and you got too much of a bomb legacy love and war was a great you know album you just are such a amazing individual it gives low self-esteem she said that she got art you know on the braxton family valued by a family member she needs to build up her self-esteem and you know get over the trauma and all the things because i think it's reflecting upon the men that you date for real for real i don't know if it's the family you know the fact that her parents had a divorce when she was early on is it that that you you know what i'm saying don't know what a good man look like or how to recognize when a man doing you wrong or how to walk away you want to you know keep putting yourself in bad situations and bad situations and it seems like it's getting worse leave this white colonizer alone and i say this because of how he out here acting f that f that f that okay because this man is a fool okay a fool yup i'm gonna call him a colonizer and i love my white fans y'all please if y'all watch my videos i love y'all but this man is a hoe okay he a all type like he's just been pissing me off okay and Tamar keep letting him play in her face. Did y'all see the, the little clips with Tommy? Okay, I'm going to play it at the end of this video if y'all haven't seen it. But she played herself and continue to keep playing herself and looking the fool, the biggest fool out here. Okay, the, the colonizer strikes again. Because at this point, I don't know, I don't feel bad for nobody involved. Because she keep playing herself and we keep watching her get played. Because she keep putting herself in a position to be played. And that's why you want to hang out with Krishan Rock so much so you can feel young and still, you know, make it because she getting played but she young you know I, I really feel like Krishan is going to you know grow up past this and know better and learn better but you still keep letting these n-words play with you you just had a mental health you know completely break down uh, I think it was like last year or maybe the year before last you let the, 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 that situation happen you let David play in your face and you heal past that only for you to get with this man so that gives me not truly healed and girl leave that colonizer alone but that's all I'm gonna say about that I'm gonna play the you know the clip so you guys can get into some things and I love you guys to pieces and bye bye all I said was he had a nice suit and from there he was thirsty he wants to fly me out What's wrong with me going to a game? What is wrong with the situation is that that is your man, as you call it. That is your man. He knew it was a situation with me and you. And he was down. He was down to play op games. I wouldn't take nothing like that serious, my love. That ate my And I sent him on his way. It wasn't the, I don't know, middle class house that he lives in in Atlanta. It wasn't the Bentleys, because I drive a Rolls Royce, that got me. It wasn't, uh, I don't know, the slick part thing he got going on. It wasn't none of that. It was when he paid for the Waldorf in points, I knew that I could no longer play this game. So it was a one night thing. He never got no JR, you never want to play with me. You don't want me to expose how you were saying that you kicked her out and she went back to her mother's house. You kicked her out and she went back to her mother's house. Not Mrs. Braxton. Not Mrs. Not Mrs. Mrs. Singer with the sold out tour that JR also told me was flex. It was cap. It was she flexing. She don't have no soul. That shit between me and you was his exact words. The tour not sold out. He said you was messy. He said you went back to your mother's house. He told me a lot of things that he shouldn't tell a stranger. I just met this man less than a week. 
Love, if that's your man, as you say, then you need to check him. You need to really check him and check your situation and really see if you're sleeping with the enemy or not. I am not your problem. I don't know you. I was drunk. I wish I was drunk right now. I wish I was drunk because now nah, fuck that. I'm about to post your shit, JR. I'm about to post your motherfucking shit, white boy. I try to just let you eat my for the motherfucking slaves, for the slaves, bitch. This Hawaii calling me a crackhead. I did it for, the, for us, for us, bitch. I don't fuck pink. You got me fucked up. Now I'm about to post your shit. she should be supporting you. Yes. And then when he went after her, then she came out with a comment. Of course. Yeah. But I, I haven't, I mean, between you and I, I talked to Tamar. His favorite words, between you and I. When I said I don't want to be with her. Oh. She's been trying to get with me ever since. Oh. She's been trying to get with me every fucking day since. Kind of corny ass. Bitch, yeah, please. You know what I'm going to do to you, boy. Sit on your head. We did. Um... Mm -hmm. I mean, I should have just reported, I should have recorded his head in my ass. I should have recorded that. But you know, I try to keep the moment personal. He never fucked me. But the, the sad situation is like, we're black, Tamar. I could say your name. I know I'm not a crackhead. I live too well, baby, and I've never indulged in drugs. I don't have to keep saying that y'all gonna run or whatever. But we're two black girls letting this, this, I'm not even gonna say the race or whatever, play with us. like. Tighten up. Tighten up, my girl. I'm not your issue. That issue. And sleeping with people like that and trusting them, this be the problem. Y'all be so for the and then want to, yeah, we had an issue. Yes, I'm going to play with you. I'm going to play with you. But once I seen the severity of the situation, I was like, damn, this is kind of fucked up, actually. Because I'm at home right now with my man, and we laugh together. We don't give a fuck about this internet shit. And he would never talk to you. You could never motherfucking get that look your way up. Now go kiss him in the mouth, ho. <laughs> Girl, I know you're trying to sell that book. I know you're trying to sell that book. And another thing, you don't wear the motherfucking suits well. You look like motherfucking Jiminy Cricket. I lied. I lied, bitch. I lied. We see why she wanted Krishan to be at her sold out tour. Now we see. Nobody would even know. Nobody would even know, babe. Nobody was checking. Nobody knew, which was my exact point to begin with. Nobody would know. And you keep little shit like this going up because and going on because nobody would know. You need to channel that energy, love. Have a seat on the couch. Before I start my day, this is the last one. I cannot carry throughout my day on this nonsense. But babe, you need some healing. You need a tad bit of healing. Word from the alleged crackhead. You need some healing. Good day, guys. I told y'all in the past that I didn't like this man. I told y'all. Yes, ma'am. You have children? I do. I'm 45. Divorced father, five. Wow. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Are yes. the kids all from your wife? No. So how many baby mamas? I have four. Four. Uh, that's a red flag for me. Isn't it beautiful to see their individual personality? And chances are you have baby mama drama, and I don't want to deal with that either. I look forward to talking to you more. Sounds good. So, JR, does a no for me. And his current girls feel some type of way, because one of his sugar babies spoke out, stating on her Instagram story, my sugar daddy did propose. I'm about to make him pay for the embarrassment. The F. Unfortunately, that was not all. There is more because Jeremy's baby mother came out to speak against him as well. She claims that he's a lawyer, Amazon DSP, and an Atlanta socialite. She claims Jeremy has a fond interest in the black culture and a fetish over the women. So much so that he often refers to himself as light skin, white chocolate, and tags himself the minority within the minority. Imagine that, a white man the minority. Ten years ago when I met him, he would attend the club almost nightly, preying on beautiful black women and taking them home. Many still claim to frequently see him socializing in clubs and still preying on black women. Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up!
stand up. That's why I had to go get my man back, y'all. And I know y'all lying. If y'all thought I was gonna let my man go because he took some crackhead to a basketball game. Savannah.